And we're back for another run. And we get to see the house finally expanded. We make some progress. Cyclone, please tell me you're the one in front. For once, you are. I expect this run to be very short, very quick. We can skip a lot of this uh, junk on the early floors. A lot of the loot on the early floors is not very good, other than we just got a troll arm and a wind seed. And crooks are pretty useless, to be honest. I'm not sure why I picked that up. An egg is not the worst that could happen to us. What's actually really annoying is if you get to a point where it's like, and you don't have a wind gem. I remember that happening quite a bit. But it's like, I don't have a wind gem and I need one. Where is that way up? It's gotta be around here somewhere. And remember, the experience will kind of try and keep you on track. I suppose we better equip our great items. Or at least we should. Or at least, okay, so it did automatically equip the Florent. But it, okay, so it only equips, automatically equips uncursed items. That's, that's useful-ish. It's kind of useful. Cyclone is just not very powerful at this level. Okay, I take that back. He's pretty powerful. Okay, and we have a Wind Seed, which, eh, again, good to be useful to have on us. That's throwable. That's garbage. And the Cutie Egg. No wind gems yet. I've got a feeling this is going to be a start of the lack of wind gems. Another egg. Never mind, there's our wind gem. We have a secured way out. There we go, Cyclone. That's how you do it. I'm pretty sure there... Yep, there's nothing here for us. So it's just time to get out of here. Floor four. Ah, Vitseed. Anything of importance? It's not looking like it. This could be an Al- okay, I was gonna hope- I was hoping it was an Alka Ray. Instead we got a Hex Ray, which... Oh, that is very good. Yes! 
The curse has been lifted. I'm very wrong. There are ways to remove curses. I just didn't remember because... It doesn't make any difference? As far as I can tell, anyway. Okay, a shield. That could be handy. Oak leaf. Uh, could be worse. Could be a skin deep. Hello, Jenny. I wanted you to kill him. Mushroom. Cyclone. There we go. Even though they're not worth much experience, still worth doing a little. That Jenny got affected by something. Oh, there's the exit. Ow! Well, there's obviously nothing on this floor. You get that a lot. You get runs that are... Sadly, not worth anything to speak of. Ah, gosh, there you are. Let's insult him. <laughs> He's gonna insult us, we're gonna insult him more. If you say so. And we will throw first... We will first throw... We will throw that at you, gosh. Invoking the pulse cut is gonna be very handy. Okay. Cyclone. You're gonna Helix 13 while we just lay into him. Oh, that kinda hurt. Too bad it's not gonna make any difference. Two wins and no losses. Let's see if we can't make it all the way to the end of the game with no losses to gosh. That would be great. Sometimes you're just unlucky. Oh? Oh, scale! Hey, uh, you seem cheery. All these Actually handy people. I've had some nice character building on who and how everyone else views Ooh, an Inca Sun. This is a weapon. This is superior in every way to the Iron Song. It sells for a they sell for a lot more too in comparison. I think those actually might be considered Endgame gear? I'm trying- I think- I think Inca Suns are like what I carried through to the end game. I mean, it was like a plus 25 or 30, I don't remember exactly. I remember grinding for sand. Not that that was- I mean, it was handy. The more sand you have, the more bonuses to your attack you have, but... It's really not that, uh... 
Useful overall. I mean, it's useful, but not, not, not great. I mean, it's great, but it's not something you have to worry about. So we're gonna again try for floor 15. Although with that Inca Sun, it'd be a shame to lose. Cause I think you lose all your items when you die, if you die. <gasps> Ooh, a troll's mace. That creates the hammer troll. And another, ooh, a Tuma seed. What does that do? Ah, we could do that if we encounter Gosh again. Just turn him into a frog. Ooh, an Alex seed. That would be something to give to a, a frontline fighter. Like Cyclone. Oh no. Octos appears to be have been caught in a rock in a hard place. Come on, Octos! He's out of range. We can't even be invoked. It's just our raw our raw attack, which is pretty bad. This is why I have them invoking all the time. It's just faster. Oh, Cyclone. How close are you to death? You are just about there. There we go. We're just a little under level to be fighting all by ourselves. But Octos is now really powerful. Octos, no. Ooh, there's an orb. An orb. Orbs must be grabbed whenever they can. Refra orbs. Octo. He could die. He's probably stuck in a corner somewhere. There we go. Yep, he was stuck in a corner somewhere. Fire Bloom. You get to provide spell backup. And there's the thing that killed our good old friend. You get to die. Metal Cry. Fire. Blinded is the stats effect for, uh, for that. Cyclone should be able to take him. Oh, or not. That's a bit unfortunate. Well, we might not get to floor uh, 15, but with all our our critters dying on us, we should be able to get to floor 10. Oh, another orb. Orbs. Flame orbs. Oh, those sell for a good chunk, too. Oak shield, probably not worth it. Especially blue sand. And speed is always handy.
There we go. Blind him. Which I think just means they can't actually don't actually know where we are anymore. Almost dead. It's ho I think paralysis is just slightly more useful. So I have to chase these guys around in order to kill them. You will die. This ridiculous dance of the hammer troll will die. There we go. Ooh, an egg. Always grab an egg. Now what do we have? Oh, we got, we got space. An egg. A hex ray. What are you doing, Bloom? Bloom, come back here. I take care of the fighting, you just provide me the spell black backup. There we go. Hex-ray, pretty useless. Let's go pick up that sword. Maybe it's another Inca sun. Oh, it's just an iron song. Ooh, another egg though. Yeah, we're definitely not making it to floor 15 this round. No way that's happening. A water ray. Well, if we wanted it to be the water season, we could do that, but uh, we kind of don't. Ooh, sand. Sand is good. Red sand even better. Okay. Yeah, we don't need more cutesy eggs. They don't... They don't sell for that much. Yes! The Inca Sun got stronger. How dare you? That was rude. That was also very rude. I'm wondering if these scenes are supposed to mean critical hits, or what?
Yeah, we're definitely gonna scour this place for the last of the treasures and then retreat. Yeah, the blinding is just... It's not handy. It's not like paralysis. And it's most definitely not like sleep, which is, I think, the other one. So it's... Not actually that good! Maybe we'll encounter Gosh again. If we do, I... Mm, I'm hesitant. And we are now running at half speed. Means we attack once, enemies can attack us twice. There we go. I suppose blinding enemies could be handy for exploring the tower. Okay, we'll see if we can't hit floor 13. We are very underleveled. We can't even attack. We're not even that effective at. Ooh. A florent? No. Oh. You. You are dangerous. That's a souvenir. That's what stole the bells. See how fast that stupid thing was? Yeah, that that's exactly... Throw the egg. Get some more sand. Two Inca sons got stronger. How about this other Florent? It is... Well, they equal a ten. Ooh, another sword. Now, there are some slight variations in the, uh... The designs here. You can kind of tell what they are. Kind of, sort of. Uh, it was just a bronzio, so it's not actually that handy. So... Let's see if we can't kill some of these blooms and get some levels. It's a shame about the blinding that's always going on. Yeah, we're only level 6. And Bloom is not any... Bloom is, I think, level 7. But he's... We're at an element disadvantage. Paralysis is just a better status effect. There's just no way around it. Paralysis is just a better status effect. If we lose Bloom here... Oh no! Bloom! Run away, Bloom! There's the next floor! We can make it Bloom if we try! Yes, we hit floor 13! I think. Yes. There we go. We have survived. Another egg. Hmm. Well, we don't actually need that. We never did encounter Gosh. We could actually just have turned him into a frog. If we'd encountered him. Ow! 
That's a hex ray. I saw another souvenir. And another egg. And the rose wand is actually not very handy. The egg is much better, much more useful to us. One more egg. What's this iron song like? Yeah, it's not that handy. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Oh, we don't gonna need all this troll equipment. Yeah, it's time. Get us out of here! Then we sell all the stuff. Oh, the house is much bigger now. Look at that. It is much nicer. I enjoy it. Which means our total number of expansions is 12. We tripled. We tripled. Our storage space, which is good. We need to open the safe, mother. Oh, the bag is full. Well, let's see what we have, monster-wise. We have another cyclone, a troll, oh, a galleop. Place one of you, and place one of you. Place a daymare is, uh, well. Actually, yes. Because, uh, we want... We need that sea seed. And we will put in there the wind seed. No. We want the wind seed because we want. Yeah, we want the flame to be wind. Which is all part of my plan. It's a flame. Galley ups. Now we have seen the Daymares on the uh, overworld, they're just not... We haven't fought them. And the volcano is, I think, the other one we wanted to place. I mean, we could do a troll also. In fact, since we have the beds for it... He's just troll. Some nice things about some of these. Like, let's take a look at a Daymare. It's good defenses and can induce sleep. What about the Galliop? Fusing with one intensifies magic. What about Actos? And Blind. And the house is even bigger. The house has gotten so much bigger. Yes, tell away. Using a mandrake.
The particulars of Monster Fusion are not that well known to me, but they're also not a necessity to know. Like I said, my... My main was a Submar. Or at least my booster was a Submar. And that's an easy two and a half grand. Hello, Nico's father. Give her a hand now and then. Among the other things you could do in the other game with her, she was romanceable. I don't think she is in here. I think that there's a lot fewer characters in this one as well. So, yeah, look at that. An Inca sword son is just flat out worth money. Just flat out worth all the money. And we're at an easy five grand again. Yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Let's see, and Swordsmith. Well, let's see what you have. He has nothing. Well, sadly he doesn't have anything. What do we have? Oh, we have one too many things. But don't worry, we'll be putting Cyclone away here. Where is Nico? There you are, Nico. I meant to donate. I'm gonna donate like five grand. The annoying thing is, you press the B button that scrolls through the text faster, but B is also cancel. So it's very easy to accidentally say no I don't want to donate anything when you're like, I do technically want that. Okay. Try that again. The annoying thing is she gives her a speech every time. So unless you have like 10 grand every time, it's gonna take a while. Okay, and that should be four grand. Yep, we've donated to her four grand. And let's see what, uh, how much you say. 50 grand. I haven't got any work for you. I think there's like three levels of houses and then you get something even more elaborate than the roads over here. I mean, it is nice and elaborate, but it's, it's more elaborate when it's your own. By a significant margin. However, Yeah, with an Inca Sun and a Florent. And... We're actually gonna put away Octos. And Cyclone. Or Flame. And when we take poor Flame in there, 
Core Flame. He actually has some, uh... Nice skills on him. He's gonna become a Wind Guy. Time for saving. Or it is time, folks. Four runs through the, the tower. And that is all we have. So that's all we have time for today, unfortunately. Join me. Join me soon for more. We'll see you next time.